that OS bhai talked about 20th January and he made a claim about something what if that claim does not come true what will happen to his credibility because many people have believed Qasim bhai through his work Jazakallah khair so what would you like to add uh, wa alaikum salam first of all and um, so uh, I spoke with Muhammad Qasim and every time I have ever spoken with Muhammad Qasim it is quite abundantly clear that he has never put a date or a month or, or a year on any of the dreams because this is a knowledge known by only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now we don't mean any offense to anybody who is making such claims but when you make such claims that you know a date and a time based on a dream that was not from Muhammad Qasim then this is something that we must be careful of because the, there is a lot of misinformation that is spreading even within this uh, environment that we are in there are people who are saying they are having dreams but they don't know where these dreams are coming from and they feel like they are uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but actually they can also come from your nafs and they can come from where? also from the shaitan now I'm not saying that somebody else's dreams are false Allah knows best what will happen on that date but if this event which has been said by Oasis here publicly is going to happen then Allah knows best which was going to happen if this does not happen this does not affect the credibility of Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim it affects the credibility of the person who made the claim directly and those people who were involved in the, uh, uh, the assumption that this was going to happen at this time now we have to be very very careful when we do our fatabayyun in the Quran Ya ayyuhallazi awz billahi min shaytanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim Surah Al-Hujrat verse number 6 it states and I will say it in English okay that if a wicked person brings any news to you brings any news to you he informs you of something okay then you must inquire into it lest you become of a people you harm a people in ignorance in ignorance meaning you do not know you're harming them and you don't even know and then you will later have to repent as a result now this tells you the quran is telling you to do your investigation so if a man is coming forward and he has a good track record of telling you that, that these are dreams are true are and they have been occurring this is good but at the point where he says something and he puts a date on it yes, when this has not happened previously he puts a date on it this is a problem now why is this a problem the person who listens to this information is also required to do his fatabayyun as commanded in the Quran. This is not just for him, but this is for also for the person who takes the news. You must inquire into that. So you are responsible for looking into this information to verify whether there is any truth into it. Now, who is the man having the dreams? It is Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim. So before you say that Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim is a liar, you must have gone to him and asked him directly did you yourself say that on the 20th of january the punishment of allah was going to come and if you did not do this then you must fear allah and you must guard yourself before you slander a man and say that he is a liar and all the people who follow him are liars as well because this is not the case you cannot ice if, if if one person in islam was to make a mistake Will you blame the entire Ummah for the mistake of one person? No, you would not. But you would hold accountable that one person. This is the Haqq. So if there is a mistake that has been made by somebody, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is most merciful. He, he will ask, He will grant you forgiveness if you ask for forgiveness. But if you don't ask for forgiveness, then do not expect Allah to be merciful upon you. It's very, very straightforward. So Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim himself has never said that this is from him. I asked him directly myself and he said, I don't know nothing about this. I am free from this. And you know, during the time of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, even the Holy Prophet peace be upon him with his blessed Sahaba, they used to do stuff. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to say, I am free from what they have chosen to do. I am free from what they chose to do. That doesn't mean that they were wrong, but he says, I did not have any input into what the, these individuals have chosen to do. So understand that history is repeating itself. There are instances where they, things have happened in the past and they are repeating today. 
and that is what we're seeing but i am telling you as a first-hand witness i have myself asked muhammad qasim bin abdul kareem did you say this and have you had any dreams which are suggesting this and he said no this is not from him and that is where we take our source of information from the person who himself is having the dreams which we are saying to everybody are from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those dreams that are coming true we are not condoning anybody we are not condoning anybody else's dreams we are only saying that the dreams of muhammad qasim are the ones that are coming true those are the ones we know are coming true because we have a track record a history that those are the dreams that are coming true now i'm not saying that somebody else's dreams are not true i'm not saying this but we must be careful about what we say we must be careful about what we believe and we must do our duty as Muslims to obey the Quran by doing our research as commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we don't fall into the traps of being misled from the truth thus misguiding many other people as a result that is my answer I hope it answers the question